a lot. Shout out to the TOs who actually sniff check, man. Those guys are going the extra mile. I just I just noticed my tag is still there. It says DDD sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I've recently been going with the tag help me, and uh, my opponent before uh, before I lost or no, it was Malian. I put in help me. He goes. Like, really seriously, he's like, you okay, dude? <laughs> and I was trying to make it a joke, but I came off way too desperate. I'm like, yeah, man. <laughs> he just stopped. He stopped looking at me for a while. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. Oh, get into game one. We got Blank. Uh, the, uh, the, playing, playing the real princess. On it. Let, let's be honest. That's incorrect. Hot take here. Peach is for people who close their eyes when they kiss their uh, their uh, significant other. <laughs> that, is, that is all. Peach is for... <laughs> I don't know, man. for people who blush when they hold hands. That, that's 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 all I'm saying. Uh, and Earl right now, uh, it's just kind of putting in work, you know. It's I mean, I, I, I've heard I've heard uh, from a little source called a lot of people uh, that the, the princesses struggle a bit with swords. Okay. And right now it's a it's a regular cat fight here, and Lucina's just doing damage. Ooh, uh, the up block. Ooh. Another one. Yeah. And, uh, you know, as I say it, I speak it into non-existence. Suddenly, Blank's got the lead here. That was a dangerous side B, though, off the stage. Put himself in a really bad position. Ooh, great job reading the missed tech. And that'll be stock number one going to Earl. He's, yeah. so, he's, so, he's so clean with it. He is. I, I mean, Blank didn't need to commit to anything that hard, that side B. It was really unnecessary, especially because once you go off stage, that's when Earl really starts to sign. His yeah. edge guarding and his ledge traps, get they're, they're really good. They're really, really good for a sortie. Yeah, there's a lot of like, you know, there, there's some stigma with high tier characters. Yeah. Uh, but I really think like Earl Earl plays the character that like that embodies his playstyle the most. Like I he's was... not he's not trying. He's just he. This is his character. Yeah. There was a part of me that was hoping you would just say, "There's a stigma with high tier characters," and then just not say anything else. <laughs> <laughs> stigma with high characters. They suck. And you then you just don't say anything for the rest of the set. <laughs> and I keep looking towards you like. Like, I've, I've done all I had to say. Like, that's, I got nothing else in the repertoire. <laughs> I'll talk about my shake again if I have to. <laughs> uh, and, uh, I don't know, right now, oh, big F smash. Just, see, just one whiff. Just one whiff. And, and Earl, just, Earl just takes a, just a deep breath and smacks. Where do you think, full disclosure, where do you okay. think Lucina is on a tier list right now? Honestly, um, I think... I think she's very good. Okay. I think people do overhype her, and I think with people starting to get better about not just shielding things and then expecting to get punishes, you know, having to actually dodge moves, like this isn't just a brain dead game of shield and punish. Uh -huh. um, I think she is subtly falling down the tier list just a little bit. Okay. I think she's gonna stay a high tier, but I don't think she's gonna be a top tier forever. Okay. Though I also did say Snake was gonna steadily fall out of the meta, and mm. I, uh, so I'm very much known to have dumb, stupid opinions, and people put dunce caps on me when I'm not looking. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. I'll say this about Earl of Venice play. He's been very good at getting around the uh, projectile known as Turnip from yeah, Daisy. He has been. He's. I've seen him use the Turnip a couple times already. Yeah, he has. He's been good at catching him, reversing him. Uh, he's had a little trouble recovering the stage every once in a while. Uh, Blank's been ready with those backers, but for the most oh, part, oh no, uh -oh. oh no. Did he just throw oh, three? What? Away. What? Is that an accident? Hello? That must have, maybe. That must have been an accident. If that wasn't an accident, then I'm tight. Mr. Saturn does his best. There's a moment earlier I saw on stream where uh, someone got Mr. Saturn to stun him just long enough to get a forward smash. I mean, I don't know, Mr. Saturn is, uh, he's a good boy. He's looking for Stitch, dude. Stitch or nothing else. Stitch or, Stitch or bomb, dude. Yeah. If I, if I had to play Peach, like, gun to my head, I had to win with Peach, I would just sit back and try and farm bombs <laughs> desperately and then try and do whatever confirms I could into the bomb. Oh, got him way off stage. And this is where he thrives. He'll just call out that float. Yeah. Big fair from Earl of M. Earl of M knew Blank had time to waste just sitting out there floating using her magic and Earl said... Yeah, and he said, I'm absolutely not going to let you waste my time. No. Hello, I'm Earl. Lucina said, I've saved the world and beaten a dragon. <laughs> you think I'm going to lose to you? You yeah, think I'm going to lose to you? I don't think so. I don't like the way the announcer says Daisy. Daisy! That was really good, actually. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Hey, if anyone needs a voice actor, I don't do that. <laughs> Get into game number two. Going back to stadium. I always feel like this is like this is a big mentality thing when yeah. you lose game one and then you just run it back. I, I think that comes a lot from, and that could, I think it's always one of two things. It's either the person is like salty and kind of just wants that run back, 
or they're confident that they know what they did wrong and think they can fix that in game two. See, and that's interesting because both scenarios you just described, one of them is like a sort of good mentality to have if you really want to play that stage. The other one is like the exact wrong mentality to have. Yeah. So. I don't know, I think people, uh, it's it's very easy, for especially for newer players, to after, after game one, whether they win or lose, they're thinking about what they can do to improve and not thinking about what's my opponent thinking right now. Uh -huh. And it, it's it's so it's so interesting to watch people find a good balance of their own mindset and their opponent's mindset. Yeah. And putting the two together for a win. Oh, back air not quite gonna be enough. Then Mr. Saturn, no! <laughs> Just throw him on the ground and pick up another turn. Of <laughs> he walks around. He stretches his legs. The poor boy. Oh, that'll be a uh, that'll be a winky face turnip. The flirty, the flirty turnip, if you will. Yeah. Uh, straight into the dash tag, and that'll be a quick forty. You gotta be careful against uh, against Peach and Daisy. You gotta get those kills quick, or else they'll rack up damage on some just nutty combos. He's been doing a pretty good job at covering uh, any option. Uh, Earl tries to go for any air and making sure Earl does not land. Yeah. Uh, one thing he did really well last game is Blank made it very hard to get Earl back on stage, and now he's sort of capitalizing on the fact that he knows Earl is going to get around the turnups and then setting up right after he avoids the turnups. Yeah. Dancing Blade offstage, this could get really bad for Blank real quick. Yeah, it looks like Earl quite a few times has just gotten clipped by the Umbrella uh -huh. uh, coming through the stage. I'm wondering if he's going to find a way to adjust around that, because it it's it's such a small thing, but it completely invalidates uh, a way of approaching Edge Garden. Amazing. Like, it makes it really hard, because so you have to short hop, and then you have a much more limited option. Cool. It's, uh, it's rough, but honestly, Earl's doing a great job playing defensively, just slowly working his back. Delete that big fair. Do you know that Peach has, been, Peach, Peach has been pulling the crown for fair since melee? Since melee? Yeah. Did not know that. Yeah, right. I thought it was. I thought it was just for this game. Do you know Daisy's been doing it since ultimate? <laughs> <laughs> you okay? I'm so upset. <laughs> I'm like shaking with anger. So it was the dumbest thing you said to me today. <laughs> and there have been some real humdinger amethyst. <laughs> Oh, but uh, you want to talk about humdingers? Talk about this, uh, the damage that uh, that Blank has avoided and the damage that he's been racking up on Earl here. It, oh, miss! The, we tech those. Come on now. And oh, you should have tech. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. Tech. in Chicago we tech. Yeah, yeah. If you're gonna be here, Blank, you gotta tech. No. <laughs> I don't know if you saw the new tutorial video we put up last week about teching. It's a new skill we just covered here in Chicago. It's just Nick screaming for ten seconds the word tech. <laughs> Hey guys, Mick here. I just want to know if you get towards landing on the stage, you just spam every button on your controller. Eventually, you'll just get up, bro. So the trick practical. is to just set all your buttons to shield, and then you live forever. <laughs> set your C stick to shield so you can press it on the on the C stick and just insta roll. One of these days, Moniker is gonna show up with an Atari controller, and the only but he's gonna be able to move left, right, down, and up, and the only button is gonna be for taunting. He's gonna show up with a full keyboard. <laughs> Moniker thing to do. Yeah, no. Um, great job from uh, from Blank to, to to go back to that stage and say, "Nah, this is mine." Look, look at that smile. Way better than way better than Peach. Yeah, I don't care. Peach goes, Ooh, "Did I win?" <laughs> it got way too silent poised. there for me. She's poised. She's modest. She is. She's fun loving. She <laughs> she humble brags. Great sense of humor. She is braggadocious. Annoying. Braggadocious. Whiny. What does Princess Peach brag about? I don't even think Princess Peach knows she's a princess. What does she brag about? <laughs> Bro, if you're a super, super Mario Sunshine, I don't think she can see. She just, <laughs> her eyes, I swear to God, her eyes cross half the time. <laughs> Things just go on around her and she has no idea. Oh. Speaking of crossed eyes, Blank is looking to cross up Earl of M right hey. now. Hey! Whoa! Quick 38%. Whoa. Right. Whoa. It's fine, dude. It's hey. okay. All right. Whoa. Okay. Hey. I'm just trying to commentate the match, dude. It's, it's <laughs> no, but uh, Earl's. Earl's kind of smash for, ooh, this smash was looking rough right now. Uh, ooh, gets landing down or doesn't get much out of it. This is this is rough, man. Blank. Blank seems like he's uh he, he's he's got the download. He's uh. Hacker voice, I'm in right now. He, he's, he's so ready. With the fair, just just goes for another. Just big second fair. He wanted that back there. Yeah. Uh, 
Blank it's gonna be right. rough. Oh, and that'll be the stock. Yeah. There's just been a uh, from both of these two, from Blank and Earl of M, there's just been a lot of like going up in the air and then throwing out moves and seeing who hits first. There's just been a lot of contesting every once in a while. Earl of M will go up with a fair. He'll hit it first. Blank will see that he's incoming. He'll throw out a fair preemptively. It's just been a lot of that back and forth so far. Yeah, and again, uh, Blank got him to go low, and Earl's not really having an answer for it. Yeah, I, I think both of these two are sort of on the same wavelength when it comes to how they want to play. The only thing is, Blank has a projectile. Oh. He also has an SD now. Yeah, he. <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> But a lot of the way they've been playing has been very similar. It's just a lot of like waiting for your opponent to whip and then going for an aerial of your own. But oh, oh whoa. big combos yeah. from Blank. Beautifully done right there. Yeah. Oh, oh. Nice couple of fares. Ooh, good job punishing the shield. Just a little too low. He's doing a great job. Earl is so good at just kind of taking advantage and just kind of keeping it there. Like he just racked up a ton of damage off just pushing him away. Off stage situation. Oh. He's still gonna make it back. Though. Wow! Yeah, yeah, great job. Nice snare. Got him off stage again. That was a good job of avoiding that from Blank, making sure he spaced himself just far away enough to the point we could avoid it. Ooh. Oh, that'll be it. Yeah. I'm wondering if drop down uh, counter will, will will connect on the. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, on the on the on the Daisy up B. Yeah. On the parasol. Because right now, whenever he drops down, he just kind of... Oh, nice. That's a classic. That's yeah, a yeah. classic. The Nair, Nair 1 to uh, F smash. And aside from 13.3%, we're back to even. Yeah. it's uh, bo Both times, uh, Blank has lost his stock while things are still very close. But then he gets one of those uh, those classic Paisy combos. Ooh, fair coming nice. Out I like that he faded back and then back forward into the fair. Whoa. Oh, we got some tricksy moves. Tricksy moves here. Nice air dodge to ledge. Oh, jumped a little too fast. Caught yeah. him out with that fair. Oh, Whoa, we go. just a wall of them. Oh, just a wall of turnips. Man. Yeah, and that'll be uh, that'll be game three. Gone. A little little confusion here on whether it's best of three or best of five. Looks like it was best of three. Uh, great job to Blank. Uh, so Earl's gonna have to run it back in the losers. I'm confident he's gonna make a run back though. He's 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 like one of the hardest players to tilt in this game. Yeah. He's so like aware of what's good and what's bad, 